We love call center agents. They're human, they're brand ambassadors, and as consumers gravitate to more human-centric marketing, they're the voices that drive revenue for business. We have a lot of love for our agents and reps out there, but do they feel it? Because call center agents are experiencing the highest level of burnout and turnover in years. So buckle up, we're taking on call center burnout. Welcome to Snackable CX, where we break down our best resources into bite-sized guidance on how to stand out and be known for your customer experience. I'm Sam Salerno, here from Mindful, the best-in-class total experience solution that aims to add kindness to your tech stack. Odds are pretty high that many of us have experienced burnout in some way, shape, or form. But just to make sure we're all on the same page, Here's how the World Health Organization defines it. Burnout is chronic workplace stress that has not been successfully managed. It's characterized by three dimensions, feelings of energy depletion or exhaustion, increased mental distance from one's job or feelings of negativism and cynicism related to one's job, and reduced professional efficacy. If that definition feels a little bit too close to home, you're not alone. According to a 2020 Spring Health survey of 1,100 working adults, 76% of U.S. workers, that's three out of four employees, said they were experiencing work-related burnout. And the worst part about burnout? It's a silent workforce killer. Employees struggling with burnout often keep quiet about how they're feeling until it's too late. In their mind, the only way out is to quit, leaving businesses scrambling to fill the gap they leave behind. But get this. Call center employees have one of the highest burnout and turnover rates of any industry. A leading call center training organization called Quality Assurance and Training Connection puts the average turnover rate between 30 and 45%, almost three times the average rate of burnout in other industries. A number of stressors contribute to this, but three top the list. First, agents are feeling the stress from consistently high and unmanageable workloads usually because they're left to pick up the slack after a coworker leaves. Second, they're wrestling with feelings of an unhealthy or insecure work environment where layoffs, downsizing, and lack of work-life boundaries are just part of the job. And third, and probably the most prominent, they're spending day after day dealing with angry, upset customers who take their frustration with the business out on the agent. The effects of burnout are not just isolated to an individual. When one agent suffers from burnout, the entire business is affected. Agents experiencing burnout are less productive, more likely to take sick days, and more likely to pack up and leave altogether, creating even greater pressure and hardships that other agents have to compensate for. And if your brand wants to just try to survive with the way things are, you need to realize that this runaway train won't stop on its own. Okay. If you need to take a breather, now's the time. We just painted a pretty bleak picture of agent life. But the good news is this is where we shift from the doom and gloom part of the episode to the part where we learn how to fix the problem. And the truth is, call center managers can support their agents and fix the downward trend of agent burnout and attrition. We've had the fortunate opportunity to work with clients that have really turned it around for their agents. So we know it's possible. We know it's achievable. And we've compiled four different ways that we've seen work at massive brands to turn the agent tide. Up first, keep a daily pulse and build trust. This should go without saying. You can't help or support your employees if you don't know how they're feeling. But in dire times, you can't leave this up to quarterly or yearly review. You need to check in at the water cooler. If you're virtual, set up quick 10-minute stand-ups and open it up to highs and lows, or just give a chance to vent. Encouraging open communication within your team lets you spot signs of burnout and builds that trust. Another way to keep a daily pulse is to look at agent performance. When agents are struggling with burnout, it directly affects their focus and productivity, which leaves them falling short of usual performance standards. The stress associated with missing targets can even deepen the sense of overwhelm they have, and that's compounded when they don't feel like they can openly talk about it with teammates or their managers. If you're an enterprise brand, Checking in and monitoring performance on the reg is probably far-fetched when you have hundreds or thousands in your agent pool. But a real-time feedback tool will automate a lot of that while providing you with customer sentiment as well. Just make sure the feedback tool is plugged into the contact center and can analyze sentiment and set flags automatically. This way, you can stave off burnout at its earliest stages. 
And this leads to our second method, proactively monitor team workloads. High workloads are a leading source of stress for employees, regardless of their industry. But when COVID-19 hit, call centers experienced an extraordinary spike in call volume that sent many agents down the burnout spiral. And with increased burnout and absences, remaining agents faced even more pressure to handle the growing number of calls. It's easy to fall into the trap of quick fix solutions when call volume exceeds agent capacity. You could obviously hire more agents and add more agents to each shift to increase availability. But as you know, staffing for peak volumes leaves wasted headcount salary in non-peak hours, which will drastically add to overhead. Another quick fix might be extending call center operating hours so calls are spread over longer periods of time rather than spiking at peak times. But this still creates a problem of peaks in hiring when the agent workforce pool is nearly dry. One of the most cost-effective ways we've seen queue loads addressed is with a virtual queue and giving customers the option to schedule a callback. And if you work with the right partner, you can dial in queue pacing so that your agent pool isn't affected at all. No change in hours or workforce management strategies, just maximizing efficiency with what you have. If that sounds too good to be true, just trust me, we do this stuff every day, and it's so rewarding when, true story, agents tell their managers, this is the first day I've gone home on time in years. Third method, improve the work environment by reducing the likelihood of angry callers. It's not only agents that feel the pinch of call queues getting longer. Callers who spent the last 20 minutes on hold are generally angrier, frustrated, and more hostile when they finally get the chance to speak to an agent. As tough as we'd like to think our agents are, don't forget that they're still human. A run of negative customers creates an emotionally draining work environment, and there's just no way to spin that. And even though it's hard to hear when you're figuring out staffing, the truth is, long hold times create frustrated callers, short hold times create happy callers. But the happiest callers, and we've got the data on this, are callers who get to keep their place in line while they hang up the phone. When you give callers the option to schedule a callback, you completely reframe their perception of their wait time. They feel freedom as they go about their day instead of being tethered to their phone listening to hold music and a message loop on repeat. They also feel like the brand actually valued their time, letting them use it as they please instead of being tied up. And for agents, this positive sentiment translates directly into easier calls with less frustrated customers. And finally, the fourth method, create a strategy to reduce call volume. If high workloads are a leading source of stress for your team, you might need to implement bigger changes to customer communications in reducing call volumes. You might consider other communication channels such as chat, messaging, and email, or improve self-service options and bolster FAQ page, help center, and IVR deflection to make finding answers easier for callers. Okay, now this is gonna sound counterintuitive, but if you're a really customer-centric brand, you could let customers request a call on your site or app. Yes, I know you're gonna say, that'll literally inflate call volumes, this guy's nuts, but don't question my sanity until you hear me out. Customers are going to call you if they really want to. They're going to hunt down your phone number and ring you up, maybe even multiple times until they get an estimated wait time that they feel okay about. But when you serve them up with a choice on when they want to call, and that time happens to be when you actually have staffing to handle that call, now you've evened out your workload while helping them set aside time to have the conversation. We've seen it succeed time and time again. Just recently, U-Haul went live with our call scheduler on their site, and they're able to pace out calls based on the issue and connect the right agent the first time. And customer feedback has just been glowing, giving agents an appropriate pace of work while also delivering delighted callers that feel like they had the luxury of skipping your IVR and hold music. Again, we love call center agents. And while we're focused on helping our clients create empathetic customer experiences, that's just not possible without an empathetic human to interact with. Different tools and technology won't eliminate burnout in your call center, but they can help agents feel less stressed and more in control of their workloads. We've seen the right tools change call center culture within days of implementation, so we know firsthand how the right solution can really make a difference. If you'd like to see how we approach this at Mindful, head to our website, check out our page on agent retention, or hit us up for a convo. We'd love to come alongside and help you show your agents some love. This episode has been adapted from the article, What is Call Center Burnout and How Can You Help Agents Overcome It? 
which can be found on Mindful's CX resource library at getmindful.com. We publish new snackable CX episodes every week, so be sure to subscribe wherever you listen to podcasts. See you next time.